Here's a, another demonstration that, that's kind of fun to do as part of a demonstration show. Um, and it involves using calcium carbide. And I'm going to give you the setup for it first, and then I'll run through the story. What I've done is I've got some instant coffee up here. And right now, I have in the spoon, oh, maybe eight or nine pieces of calcium carbide, uh, along with the instant coffee that, that's there. In, in a moment, I'm going to lift that out and dump it into my coffee pot and call it really instant hot coffee. Uh, and I've got this specialized coffee pot, which in fact involves a plastic container. I've poked a hole in the side of it and stuck an aim and flame in it. And of course, the aim and flame, when I click it, will set off a little fire inside. Calcium carbide, when I put the water in for the coffee, will generate acetylene. And the net result will be an explosion, which should blow the lid off, which will tell me when my instant coffee is ready. Um, and so that's the, the setup behind it. So I've got a, some calcium carbide in the spoon. I put that in ahead of time, stuck it in the, uh, the instant coffee. And um, then I'll just dump it in, pour the water in, count to one, and hope I can deal with the childproof aim and flame, uh, get it to fire. And it should go up pretty far. Well, it'll only go as far as that black ceiling thing, but um, it will blow the lid off. It'll make some interesting noise. You'll also notice on this particular coffee pot, I've taped the lid down a little bit, not to the plastic part on the bottom. That would be dumb. But just to keep this other part from not flying off, I have this small fear that this piece might fly up, which would be kind of neat if it does. And this little part will fly off and or the other possibility is the, the flame will shoot out this direction. So we'll see what happens. It should be kind of fun to, to work with. Uh, I will use an explosion shield with this again because there is a, a minuscule chance that the container itself might fly apart. Again, there's very little danger other than for you guys in the audience. It is going to be loud. I've already placed hearing protection in my ears so that I'm in pretty good shape because I need both my hands to deal with this thing. But you can cup your ears uh, when I get ready to, to set it off. You don't have to do it now. But I will warn you, hey, this might be loud. And when I give you that warning, cup your ears. There'll be about a five-second delay. And then we'll see what happens. OK. If I were going to do this in a demo show, here's, of course, how I would set it up. The other morning, I was sitting at breakfast and wanted a hot cup of coffee. I went to the cabinet and took out the instant coffee, put it in a cup, added some water, and it was cold. So then I read the instructions, and it told me I had to have hot water. And it said I could either microwave the water up to the temperature, or I could heat it on the stove. That's not instant. Instant is you take it out, you put it in the container, you count to one, and it's done. So again, I've been working on a new formula for instant coffee, uh, adding some flavor-enhancing crystals that are going to make the reaction go a little bit better and also heat the coffee up at the same time. So I've got my latest version of instant coffee. This is trial number 987. I'm still not 100% sure it's perfect. So still working with an explosion shield. But I think maybe I'm getting close. So I'll take the lid off of this coffee pot. You'll notice that I've got an interesting handle set up on it. And I will dump into it my cup of coffee, water. And then I will add my instant coffee, put the lid on, count to one, one, except I can't do the job. Ooh, now that's hot. And in fact, if you look at it, whoa, latte. <laughs> Thank you. 
oh, still bubbling nicely, too. Got a nice head on it. And it might be a cappuccino, in fact. And it's almost hot enough to melt the spoon, so it's ready to go. 